Hey, happy Friday and welcome to Virusville. Population, us. This virus keeps, it's like the Energizer Bunny. It keeps going and going and going and we think it's got to run out of battery soon. You know, I've, I've read a couple of things by people online that say the virus is going to disappear right after Election Day. And these people are, well, basically idiots, you know, because the virus isn't even running for the election. Why should it go anywhere? It's going to be around here to annoy us for a long time, just like the Cars for Kids commercial. If you want a solid solution to the COVID-19 problem, you might want to consider voting for me, hashtag Dale for POTUS 2020, because it has been proven by scientists that Lysol will kill the virus. The problem is you can't find it anywhere. The stores all say they're sold out of Lysol. This, my friends, is bull hockey. I happen to know that this country has secret Lysol reserves buried deep under South Dakota, which is why South Dakota, I think, is reporting very few cases. Anyhow, I say we take these reserves, we load them into crop dusting planes and transverse the country, disinfecting the entire nation. I've seen this ploy, uh, this, this, this scheme you not scheme, uh, this technique is the word, I've seen it used many times in science fiction movies, so I'm sure it's going to work. So while you are social distancing and mask wearing and pondering your future, take a couple of minutes and enjoy some laughs, courtesy of the Friday Funnies. Johnny McFadden runs a pub called the Star Inn in Cornwell, England. And as you know, England is under a COVID-19 crisis too. And they said that if any pub is going to be open, they have to practice social distancing. This means no more standing around the bar. So Johnny tried to keep his customers away from the bar with some rope. That didn't work. So he installed... <laughs> an electric fence. That's right, he has a, a sign on the fence warning of the electric current and keeping the customers back. And it seems to be working. Johnny said he hardly even turns it on anymore because after it happened once, nobody's been going near it. In Greenwood, Delaware, a potential robber with a machete entered a Stargate pizza at closing time and demanded money. And the only person there was the owner. And the owner said, I don't have any money. And then since he was cleaning up, he took the first pizza he came across and threw it at the intruder, hitting him in the face. Well, this guy went screaming and running away into a waiting car. So that's good for him. But it makes me wonder is now that pizza is recognized as an effective defensive weapon, are we going to have to wait three days to order one? Ron Timms of Atlanta, Georgia was checking his mail and he found a voter registration application in there addressed to Cody Timms. Cody Timms is his cat who died 12 years ago. You know, this makes me very comfortable with the concept of voting by mail. You know, the fact that my vote could be canceled out by a dead cat, dog, or goldfish. I mean, we let dead people vote in Chicago, but that's because they used to be people, not non-tax paying kitties. So, uh, you know, and then, then they asked Mr. Timms, they said, if Cody were alive and registered, how would he vote? And he said, oh, Cody was a Democrat. <laughs> Dead cat. Looks like Joe Biden finally found a running mate. <laughs> hey, that's it, my friends. Thanks for joining me. Listen to my podcast, would you please? Another day above ground. You can get it wherever you listen to your podcast. It's funny, it's informative, and especially if you're a baby boomer, it's just for you. See you next week.